So here is something that I've never seen in real life. And so I'm thankful to my, my friend, Sadiq Amr, uh, from, uh, he's from uh, Yemen originally, but uh, practices in Saudi Arabia. And uh, I've never met him in real life, but I've, uh, we've been friends on, on social media for, oh, probably over 10 years now. So uh, another great example of how social media can connect you with really great people. And he shared these beautiful images, and I'm so thankful that he allowed me to, to use these uh, because I've never seen this in real life. So uh, maybe you haven't either, but it's a pretty characteristic thing. So we have this, I love this one because it's like a volcano erupting out into the, this is in the, the uh, nasal cavity. So this is the keratinized, uh, or excuse me, the um, stratified squamous portion of the, the nasal mucosa here. And you can see there's a large sphere filled with multiple little uh, dots that are pink uh, on PAS stain. And then there are smaller spherules around here. And there you can see it involving the, um, the respiratory type mucosa. I'm just going to scroll through these images here and let you uh, be amazed and swoon at the beauty of it. And that's my favorite one because it looks like a, like a little crescent moon and some planets or something. So cool, huh? So uh, anyone want to tell me what this is? Do you know? Rhinosporidiosis. Yes, very good. Rhinosporidiosis. Excellent work. And again, something I've not seen in, in my practice. So that's because this is usually in the tropical parts of the world, particularly in uh, India and Sri Lanka are, are the areas that it's well known for, but I think it can occur in some other tropical regions. So I think there's been some debate in the past about whether it's a fungus or not, but it's, it's currently classified as a protist type organism. And, uh, and this is, again, the only example I've seen. I, I post this online sometimes, and people from, from uh, India have, uh, and other tropical areas have uh, posted and said, oh, yeah, we see this in our practice actually regularly. So it's, I think, always an interesting thing, especially with infectious diseases, to think about how uh, ge geographic location really influences um, the way we think about our differential diagnosis because of the, the you know, incidence of disease or the prevalence of disease, excuse me, uh, affects the pretest probability, right? And the likelihood that we might encounter a certain thing. So if I show a picture of, you know, say, uh, granuloma annulari or anything granulomatous, uh, if I look at that, I'd say, oh, that looks like granuloma annulari. But if I show that to, to colleagues or friends who uh, maybe practice in the Middle East or in India, many of them are right away going to say, that's tuberculosis or that's leprosy or that's some other infectious disease because of how much more often they see that. Um, I do see mycobacteria in my practice, but it's pretty pretty infrequent. I've never actually seen a case of cutaneous tuberculosis, not a single case in my whole career or in my training, only study sets because it's so rare in the United States. So recognizing you know, travel history and, uh, and geography makes a big difference, as you all know, uh, for, uh, for uh, infectious disease particularly. Okay, great. Rhino oh, wait, can I? Okay, first of all, big fan, have to say. Thank <laughs> you. Um, yeah, so I actually did a medical mission trip in Kenya, and it was a child who had a nasal polyp, um, and we were trying to FNA it, and it wasn't giving any cells. And then, so we took some back with us, and we processed it, and it was rhinosporidiosis. Wow, So I actually amazing. have, like, the gross photo. I even have, like, the cyto smears. And really? I have um, some pictures, if you want. Uh, yeah. Yes, if you would be willing to share those with me, I would be delighted to post those, give you full credit, and uh, use them for teaching for future. If you're cool with that, just uh, shoot me an email. That would be fantastic. What, what was your name? Jasmine Vickery. Jasmine. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Uh, yes, I would be delighted to have those. I'm always looking for cool things to share for teaching, and I am, if you haven't figured out, I'm particularly fond of weird infections. Um, I think it comes with like the derm path territory. We see a lot of infectious type stuff. And so, um, so we find it kind of cool and interesting. All right, good. Thank you yeah, so much. Absolutely. It was a tough case because I also had not seen it before until then. So. Incredible. Wow.